What's up guys? As you can see, we're back in Vim, and today I'm going to be showing you another whole mode in Vim called Visual Mode. Visual Mode is an extremely useful mode for editing arbitrary trunks of text inside of a file. And there's actually three different subtypes to Visual Mode. There is the regular visual mode that people usually find first, which is really more of a visual character mode. You access it from normal mode by pressing lowercase v on your keyboard, or just v as long as you're not holding shift or having the caps lock on. And what this does, much like how its name sounds, is it allows you to visually select characters. Now, when you enter into visual mode, of course, it's going to tell you down here, since our mode has changed, it's going to change to visual, or it'll show up somewhere in your Vim file, depending on how you have your VimRC configured. <clears throat> so, in visual character mode, we're able to visually select characters one by one. So, if I start hitting H, you'll see that I'm going over to the left from the area that I originally was at. And what this allows us to do is just select whichever characters are underlined. So if I were to hit Y, then I will have just yanked the text mode equals V. And let me go ahead and paste this on a new line to show you that it really did yank. And of course you can do other type of actions in visual mode as well. If I wanted to delete all of this, I can go back into visual mode. And the same movement patterns from normal mode also apply in visual mode. So I can select more of this by doing W to select the whole word, or I can do capital W, which I believe did the same thing in this instance. Um, or, if you want to just visually select to the end of the line, you can do dollar sign. And like I said, the same actions that apply in normal mode will also work in visual mode, just on the text that you've selected. So I can do D to delete it if I want, or I can just do X if I don't want to actually yank that into my register. Now, <clears throat> speaking of lines, there's another type of visual mode called visual line mode. And this is accessed by doing an uppercase V. So try not to get confused between the two different modes because they are indeed very different. Visual line mode will select the entire line that you are on. And of course, you can also go up and down with this. You can try moving around inside of it, but there's really not a whole lot of purpose to do that in visual line mode since it's just gonna select the entire lines that you're on. And keep in mind that this will select literally the entire line. So if you have a line like this with a bunch of white space and then some characters in between it and then a bunch of white space at the end, you see it's going to select everything, including this here, which is actually the new line character. That's why if you delete it, it's not just going to leave you with a blank line, it's going to leave you with that line being completely gone. And the final type of mode for Vim, which is actually, well, the final type of visual mode, which is actually what originally got me really interested in Vim is the visual block mode. Now, this is accessed again from normal mode, but you want to do control plus lowercase v this time. And you'll see that we've entered visual block mode. And this is very similar to the regular visual mode, but the difference is that it actually allows us to select text not just in the left and right direction, but also in the up and down direction. So it basically lets us select text in a blockwise way, which I guess is why it's called visual block mode. And one really cool thing you can do with this, let me go ahead and open a new tab. 
and show you guys what actually got me so interested in this feature of Vim. So I'm gonna open up this file. So this is a real life use case of what I've had to do in my job before is sometimes we need to have a list of phone numbers and pass it through a program to do some type of provisioning or some other type of work with the phone numbers. But all of the tools we use don't have input validation, which basically means that the program only expects a very specific type of input. So all of these phone numbers, um, as you can see, don't have a country code to them. Um, now it shouldn't really matter because they're 700 numbers, so they're not real anyway. But I know one program in particular that we used would not accept these because it doesn't have the country code and also it has hyphens inside of it, which for whatever reason makes uh, the particular script that we would use not work correctly. So the way that my colleagues were fixing this type of stuff before is they would open up an Excel file and they would do control H to just find and replace all of these hyphens with a blank space, which works pretty well. I mean, you would pretty much do the same exact thing in Vim, but in order to get the country code at the beginning of all these phone numbers, well, that would be a little bit trickier. If you wanted to do that in Microsoft Excel, I believe the method they were using was to just create one column, like column A, and just put a bunch of plus ones in there, and then you'd have to do special formatting to it, or not really special, but just format it as text because otherwise Excel thinks it's a math problem and it wants to try to add one a bunch of times. Um, and then they would put the numbers in the column to the right of it, and then do some type of concatenation to get them together. But thankfully in Vim, we don't have to do all of that. All we really have to do is go into visual block mode and then select all of the numbers that you want to prepend something to, which in this case is gonna be all of them. So I'm just gonna do G to go to the bottom. And then you can do uppercase I to start editing from the beginning of the line and you can place a one. Now, here's where the magic happens. Because we entered into insert mode from that visual block mode, anything that we type in this insert mode is going to apply to all of the lines that we selected. So if I want to add a plus and then the country code to it, once I hit escape to get out of insert mode, you see that it just applied it to all, what is this, 41 or 42 numbers? I think it's 42 numbers. And then, of course, we can do the same thing by getting rid of the hyphens. Now, this technically isn't the best way to do this. I guess find and replace inside of them would be the best way to do it. But I'm just gonna do it this way to basically showcase what you can do. So you can delete text from visual block mode as well. And you can even append text to it as well. And you don't have to go to the very end either. You can just do dollar sign to go to the very end or a zero to go to the very beginning. And then I'll do uppercase A and whatever you type will get applied to all the rest of the numbers. All right, guys, so that is visual mode in Vim. You've got your visual character mode, visual line mode, and visual block mode. Be sure to leave a like on this video and share it with someone else who you think would find it useful. Peace out, guys.